So I'm going to try and explain in under 90 seconds why it is so crucial that this new supercomputer has come online in Bristol, why it matters for national security and why I think it's the smartest government tech initiative in over 20 years. OK, so this is about AI, the AI that you and I use day to day, the chat GPTs, all the rest of them. The T in chat GPT, the final one, stands for transformer. OK, and how a transformer AI model works is it analyzes an unimaginable amount of content, sentences, documents, pictures, whatever. It, it takes all this stuff in, analyzes it, works out which patterns are common, what works well together, what doesn't work well together, stores that in a magical way. And then when you ask it a question, it goes through all those billions and billions and billions of combinations and comes out with something that is likely based on everything that it's seen. That's really smart. But where's it getting this information from, which makes it know what likely looks like? Well, large data sets sucked from the internet. One of the most common ones that's used by some of the big players is called the C4, which stands for the Colossal Clean Crawled Corpus, which is basically a collection of stuff that's been picked up from all over the internet for many years. And this includes awful things, terrible misogyny, terrible racism, incitement of hatred, as well as lots of very, very useful stuff. But it includes a lot of very dark sides of humanity. And that is being used to influence the answers that AI is giving us. Now, it's being filtered out and it can be refined in certain ways. And yes, 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 yes. Of course, these companies are trying not to expose that stuff, but it's in there. And we have no control over it because that's C4 Corpus. That was created by Google. We can't do anything with that. And so models that are trained on these external data sets over which we have no control we have no control. So with this supercomputer in Bristol, for the first time, we have the scale of computing in this country to be able to start to build those trained models of our own, which gives us more choice, or indeed some, any choice, over the source data that goes into them. And considering how many people of all ages and in all professions are relying on AI output to teach them things and tell them what to be said, this is probably one of the most important decisions that's been made for the future mentality of the UK. That's no exaggeration. So well done, everybody.